Now to the bridge blockade that is causing paralysis at Michigan's border crossings with Canada. First the Ambassador Bridge, now the Blue Water Bridge in Port Huron is facing massive backups and delays. The scene from Drone 7, stunning trucks lined up. Some drivers telling Action News the wait times have stretched to 76 hours. Many of those truckers had been headed for the Ambassador Bridge, but because it is closed because of the protests in Canada and because of the wait times, those drivers have limited options. Michigan's only other crossing is in Sault Ste. Marie in the Upper Peninsula. Some drivers making the hours long trek to Buffalo. The blockades could have lasting impacts beyond the border. Tonight, new concerns about disruptions to auto production and trade. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham is at the Blue Water Bridge with what truck drivers are saying about the delays. This right behind me here is what truck drivers continue to deal with, a bottleneck on the Blue Water Bridge. Now, the lanes on the other side leading into the U.S. look to be moving smoothly. However, it's when these truckers are heading back over into Canada where it becomes a real inconvenience. I spoke with several who feel that way. One of them actually said he's all for it. A backup on the Blue Water Bridge heading from Port Huron into Canada. We caught up with some of these truckers who first made a stop at Love's Truck Stop before getting in line to head across braving the backup. How long have you been trucking? 35 years. You ever seen anything like this? Not this bad. Canadian trucker Gordon Connell says 9-11 is the first and last time he's seen lines and delays come close to this. Yesterday, he says it took him six hours to cross the Ambassador Bridge, which he also was originally scheduled to travel across today. But the Ambassador is closed for the day, leaving his load of auto parts few options. As of this morning, our company had 27 or more trucks stuck on this side of the border from yesterday. So we have customers that aren't getting their loads and they're wondering why. The reason? A protest in Ottawa, also popping up in Windsor. Canadian police say demonstrators are intentionally causing the backups. They oppose their government's vaccine mandates. With the ambassador shut down for the day, it's led to a slow crawl on the Blue Water Bridge. Canadian trucker Jim McNutt says he sympathizes with the demonstrators. Yeah, it's all about our civil, uh, our liberties and uh, uh, our civil rights. You know, we're, we're being mandated to death. So these backups, you're willing to wait? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Truckers tell us the amount of time they can be on the road is limited. They have to rest before they can keep traveling, which can result in them losing money and delayed shipments for businesses. I spoke with Sarnia Police in Ontario. Constable, what are you all seeing on your side of the border at this point? Right now, the Ontario Provincial Police Service is responsible for the 402 highway, and they, they are dealing with uh, protesters are on the road, so they, they have all the specifics in regard to that. We are in communications uh, with them to ensure uh, that if they need help or if there's any impact coming to the city and obviously vice versa as well. A number of folks here in Port Huron have been coming here to the bridge curious, even asking us how long we think this will last. I told one of them at this point, it's anyone's guess. In Port Huron, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. Darren, thank